Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the blockers that was uh, preventing some users to move on to 22H2 on Windows 11 has been removed. Well, actually, it's uh, several steps that happens. If you have not offered 22H2 and you are using a printer with universal print class or Microsoft IPP class drivers, there were some blockage because they uh, found out that there was some compatibility issues with those drivers in Windows 11 22H2. So this impacted things like color printing, two-sided printing, or higher resolutions. Um, so basically, um, they added a block. That block is removed if you have those available. So what's going to happen here is that Microsoft has come up with a fix that is going to be delivered automatically in the form of a troubleshooter designed to resolve the issue. So that should arrive for only for those that are impacted, by the way. And so check out that, um, that uh, troubleshooting available that could be uh, added to your computer. Once the uh, issue is resolved through the troubleshooting, then you can, of course, go and uh, install. What you could do, if you're wondering if you have a troubleshooter or not, what I would say is go to Troubleshooting Settings. And in the settings of troubleshooting, you'll see that there are recommended troubleshooters uh, that are available. That's the history, sorry. They're recommended troubleshooter preferences, as me before running, and there's other troubleshooters. That's what I want to say. Click Run on the Printer Troubleshooter and wait for it to complete. Once that is done, if you've had the new troubleshooting uh, app or, or troubleshooter download, what's going to happen is within, they say within 48 hours after a restart, you will have offered Windows 11 22H2. So that's the way it's actually working. So um, if you can't see the 22H2 and you have one of those uh, printer class drivers, then run a troubleshooter. You might be fixing your problem and 22H2 will magically appear on your PC. Uh, there's still another compatibility hold for those that are using the Intel Smart Sound Technology Audio Driver. Also a uh, known issue with a triggering of blue screens. Problem is, that driver is not, it's, it's, you know, Intel and the manufacturer of your computer that should release this, which um, is a problem for some machines. It seems some manufacturers are not really issuing any updates, so we'll see what happens with that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.